All right. Without further ado, we find ourselves in Fruitland, a very odd map. We'll go over the map layout itself in a moment if you guys have never seen it. I've only ever cast here once before, and unfortunately, I didn't get to see the lemons. Now, uh, real quick, here's Suppy versus Huck in the title of the stream. Just so people know exactly what we're doing. All right, without further ado, we continue with the Canadian versus American Nation Wars. I am Rifkin, of course, a biased Canadian scumbag caster. And a uh, big shout out to Partouf, who's on the observing wheel for me today. Spawning here in the lower left corner of the map. Not yellow is major thought, because I guess he's got team colors enabled. It is the Red Zerg player from Evil Geniuses, Suppy. The superior wolf. His opponent in the upper right, representing Team Canada. Although he's blue, it is, from Evil Geniuses, also Huck. Now, as far as the actual Nation Wars continue or is concerned, Canada is actually currently leading this series 2-1. Uh, there's still some more matches to be had, but, I mean, if this is uh, best of, then this could be over in a moment's time. I don't actually know if this is the best of five or if they're playing them all out for funs and giggles. But uh, you do notice, okay, there's fruit everywhere on the map. That's, that's the obvious part. I don't need to explain that. In the middle of the map, nothing can be attacked yet. Uh, but eventually you'll see like the lemons the lemons and if you've never seen the lemons You're gonna maybe get to see the lemons this game. Basically This is a standard map despite its strange textures for the most part But then later on the lemons become attackable. They split into little lemon shards You can actually collect them and I believe some cool please correct me if I'm wrong here I believe each lemon knight or lemon slab is worth like 500 minerals ish So it's nothing crazy and insane But it's kind of this fun incentive to be in the middle of the map and have control of it at the very least now, I don't know how good Hawk's PvZ is. I've actually, I was thinking about it the other day when we were casting. I've only ever cast Hawk PvT or PvP. I, I don't believe I've ever cast him in PvZ. So I don't know how he's going to fare against Suppy. Suppy, though, has been uh, training for the TSL. He's living over in China right now. I imagine his ZVP is quite good, as uh, there's, quite frankly, mostly Protoss available on ladder, <laughs> whether it's North America, EU, or what have you. Not again. Not trying to pull any sort of balance discussion. I'm just saying it's a fact. There's a lot of Protoss out there, and uh, Subby's probably had a lot more practice against them in recent times. Now, that being said, Huck is kind of a uh, kind of a special player. Uh, in one hand, he plays his very own style of the game, and on another, I believe he's actually kind of on this uh, sort of break. Not a hiatus by any means, but just like, hey, it's winter time, it's Christmas time. I'm not going to go 24/7 with StarCraft 2. So he may be a little bit rusty, which I'm a bit worried about. For Team Canada's sake, we'll we'll see how well he can hold off against a player like Subby. God, this map is so vibrant. Like, the stronger team colors make this, like... Like, I can taste the watermelon in my mouth when I look at this type of thing. Uh, checking to make sure there's no pylons down for him to awkwardly bump into. We'll decide to take that sort of more pocket base. Not going to go for that further exposed one. That's okay. Not a big deal. I, on this map, I really don't feel the third bases are as critical as they are on other maps. It's kind of where you take your fourth. Um, you know, whether it decides to go way north for some crazy absurd reason, or whether you take that one more to the south for Suppy or for Huck, depending on your point of view. I gotta say, I'm loving the way the blue looks, though. I don't know if you guys ever got into Warhammer 40k, but I'm like, I'm feeling the the ultramarine blue out of this uh, on top of Hux colors. Really, really enjoy the stronger team colors. So big shout out to Ryan Shutter, who is, of course, awesome. Has been modifying Game Heart constantly, consistently. The coolest thing again is those upgrade. That upgrade countdown is so awesome. Uh, anyways, poking up here northwards. Stop just again checking for pylons, making sure there's nothing missing. I don't know if you guys ever played Portal, but like when we get to the lemons, I'm gonna start quoting Cave Johnson, and I'm really sorry in advance for this. If it gets to that point, it may not actually get to that point. Uh, one thing out of Hawk that I'm kind of curious about, he's made a bit of an awkward wall here. So sometimes you'll, you'll see the players do with their cyber core, and this choke is actually put it southern on the southern half of the ramp. So if lings do run into your base, instead of running straight for that ramp, they can run. They have to run all the way around the nexus through the mineral lines and then up your natural ramp or your main ramp, I should call it. So, a bit curious on the positioning on that cyber core. It may just be like Hux saying, whatever, it's Fruitland, let's have some fun. Uh, meanwhile, Probe just dashing around. Gas has been taken here for Huck. Just waiting to see what his next tech path is going to be. He's got that wall off uh, sorted out now, so no Ling run buys. Does have plus one weapons coming out, so he may actually decide to coordinate for an earlier attack. Plus one Zealots, of course, when caught off guard, are so good against Zerglings, but it's if Suppy smells it coming in the slightest amongst this fruit... Uh, <laughs> The fruit sense, he'll probably know that. All right, I need roaches. In fact, already is a roach horn coming down. All right, well, coming back in with the stalker, shouldn't really lose anything here. First blood. Uh, I don't know what died, something just died. Probe, I guess. Yeah, it's somewhere. All right, Suppy killed a probe. Good job. I hope Partouf is awesome and caught it because I didn't. 
has been watching the stalker mosey on back home. Uh, four lanes still just roaming around the map. He's got, of course, got the ones at home he just finished up. So about eight lanes in total. Or a little bit more than that, actually. I think he's got like ten. Either way, just trying to keep tabs on the map. Again, the priority. Not seeing extra gateways coming out of Huck, though. I mean, he's got those three finishing up. Four gates is certainly enough to apply some pressure, but it's not the all-in that you can win the game with when plus one finishes up. So he may just be uh, looking to apply a little bit of pressure. One thing that's really nice, though, is you don't have to strictly stick to Zealots for this. You can use you can use Stalkers, and with the amount of Roaches coming out of Snuppy, well, it's only a few right now, but he'll make more later. Uh, Huck is certainly going to need more more uh, Stalkers involved with this fight. Pure Zealots simply won't cut it. Force Fields are going to be nice, but even if you catch the Roaches and the Force Fields, Zealots are so limited on what they can do. Because even once you clear out the Roaches, then all well, the Zealots are blocked by the Force Field. And you're like, okay, this is awkward, now what? Well, Huck is kind of rallying around the map. Here's that huge lemon I was talking about, guys. So what you see him attacking right now is a lemon that will burst when it dies. It's like rocks, basically, on any other map, just skinned as a lemon. The difference is, uh, when it dies, you can collect the bits. And he's actually got a probe rallied here <laughs> to collect some of these bits. So actually, early on like this is quite nice. What this means is uh, Hawk's expansion that he just threw down suddenly becomes free. Oh, you guys in chat with the first bloods are awesome. Uh, but free Nexus or not, forced to cancel it for now, so it won't quite have it as for free. But as you see, that sliced lemon. Let's mine it with the probe. There you go. Nom 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 nom. So this will take a moment or two, as it's not like an instant grab and run, smash and grab. But there we go, picks up the lemon, and if you zoom in on the probe, of course, in his hand, he's actually got a little bit of a slice of a lemon, which I think is hilarious, adorable, and amazing. Uh, Stuffy, of course, is afforded the same opportunity. He is going to utilize his Lings and Roaches to get the Lemon Bits on the other half of the map. The Lemon Bits are not claimed by anybody, guys, worth noting. Uh, you just simply have to uh, grab it. So, Hawk could try and outmine Stuffy. He could try and kill the drone. And as we saw, a big income boost there from that Lemon coming back home. Uh, over here, going to rally around to try and get some scouting information. Hawk actually putting down some more gateways still. Tw uh, Blink finishing up here in a moment's time. And what Stuffy currently has actually won't fare too well against Blink. Uh, especially, I mean, the Zealots could be a problem enough as is, but if the Roaches get caught out of position, ooh, at least you can confirm that the Lemon was already taken by Huck. Gonna get this pylon, sure, but uh, Huck is warping in a lot of Zealots. This base actually coming down to a bit of an awkward timing as Huck will kill the drone. Or maybe not, we have to kill the hatchery instead. No kill, good cancel by Suppy, so he knows what's coming actively. Meanwhile, he's also pushing across the map. Fourth base, or sorry, third base of Hawk under a bit of pressure. Has cannons coming down, he's got gateways coming down, but the Nexus should not uh, be able to be made. There's too many lings on this. Even if he cleans this up, it's going to be incredibly, incredibly low. Uh, applying pressure here to the third base of Suppy, though, at the same time. Force fields were good and cleared out a good couple of the drones. Most of them did evacuate, but Hawk attacking at multiple locations with a hell of a lot of zealots. And actually, Huck did save the Nexus, 154 health. Okay, cool. Not that's going to be too hard for Suppy to knock down later, but he's got to deal with what he's got at home first. He actually can't defend. These Zealots are too strong without plus one. Actually, plus two. My bad. Uh, he has some plus two upgrades. Beetle are about to pop, and there's absolutely no anti-air to be seen. But that being said, Beetle are not exactly going to clean up Zealots very quickly. This is not like Hellbats. This is not like uh, Banshees or anything like that. So it's still going to take some damage. Does go for the recall on the Mothership Core. Doesn't save much, though. Zelts are still going to go down, but Suppy lost at third base. However, please note in the bottom right and the very bottom right, he is double expanding behind this to make up that difference. So, taking two bases right now, one about to be under attack again by these Zealots. You know, it's a real shame Suppy couldn't knock down that Nexus out of Huck. But what am I saying? I'm cheering for Huck. Team Canada, go! But, uh, no, realistically, non-biasedly, if he had knocked that down, that would have really put Huck in his place. Mutalists are looking to not go kill it, but instead go for kill probes in the main. I can kind of get behind this idea. He doesn't know how much he's defending it. To go in blindly might not work. Uh, but force the cancel this base here to the south. Of course, sell warp were a little too strong. Remaking it immediately. Now go for the mineralize. Still focusing it down. Now going for the Nexus. Suppy a little bit indecisive with this. Will cost him a lot of mutalists. It might not even go down. It ooh, does barely go down, but at the cost of way too many mutalists. Seven lost so far. And of course, Hawk has blink, so he can chase down if he wants to. Uh, chooses to stay at home, play it a little more safe. Meanwhile, massive Zell Warping. Suppy has still not cleaned up this pylon down here to the south, and that's really going to cost him. More roaches are coming in, but this base might get cancelled once again. And this is Suppy trying to make up the loss of an earlier base, guys. This isn't replacing one base simply. This is making up a base that was already lost. So while he might have the far right, uh, the far bottom right taken, it's going to be so difficult for him to establish another one. Lots of links are here, but that's not a good... He's engaging without the Mutalist. Going in a little bit too early with those links. Suppy, not quite with the control that he wants. 
Uh, not sure it's pinged over here. I guess the drones just basically gave away the bases there. Uh, not a lot of army available for Stoppy, though. Looking really good here for Team Canada. Big blink forward. Stoppy's got some more Mutalists coming, but Mutalists aren't really what he needs right now. This isn't a cluster, the cluster bomb, so I'm going to try and not swear there. Uh, of Mutalists that he needs. It's, it's like seven plus like two popping in a moment's time. Uh, this is really not looking good for Stoppy. So it looks like uh, at least today, Puck, or sorry, not Puck, Huck. Oh, I hate those names. Huck will be victorious. He's got plus three weapons finishing up in just a second here, too. So Blink Stalker's going to become even more dangerous. Stopping now going to lose his main next. He's only got the bottom race, uh, the bottom right base to defend off of, or to supply off of. So a good game will be called, and Huck will take it. But he can it up 3-1. Now, I don't know if this is the best of one or if this is like a show match, show match where they play all the games out, guys. I'll find out for you in just a second. But Canada looking good. With that 3-1, either victory or start, depending. Oh, one sec. My eyes. So itchy for no reason.